Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Happy Valentine's Day, first of all, for all the people listening. Today I'm going to talk about love. Love is the ultimate flow state. Doesn't it just feel good to be in love? I want you to understand this quote by Dr. Barbara Fredrickson, okay? Love is micro moments of connection. And I want you to understand that they're moments of connection. Which means that love is a dynamic. It's not an end goal. It's not very static. Love is a process, it's a progress, it's a creation, it's a maintenance, it's a consistency. This journey of love is going to be meaningful to you if you love yourself first. Be strong for yourself first before you give love to another individual. You cannot give love to someone more than you love yourself. Because that other person is a reflection of you. Since we are all connected, that other person is there to teach you something in this life. So be open-minded to that. Understand that love will take you through the rabbit hole of treachery, betrayal, deep understanding and revelation towards yourself and about humanity. And we have to soften and crack our hearts open so that it can glow. We must crack the heart open in order for it to shine like a glow stick. Micro moments of connection, meaning it's in the moments. It's in those amazing moments where love flourishes. If you have multiple children, can you ever say, who do you love more? No, you just love them differently, according to each moment. Right? I, people used to ask me, because I traveled a lot growing up, lived in so many countries, which is the country that you love the most? I love all of them differently. Okay? And just because I'm giving one more time, one more discipline and strictness and structure, one more... Right? It's, it doesn't take away from the love. Because love starts from groundedness and the values that we hold, such as honesty, communication, trust, kindness, compassion, we know this. But a lot of us, we get into relationships on this fake idea of love. Because we love the feeling of being in love, so we get swept up on our feet, right? L listen to these terms. Swept up on our feet... We fall in love, right? What does falling imply? You fell down, right? You became head over heels. Your head, your logic, right, was flipped upside down. Start to really understand the spontaneous feeling of love. It can be very addictive, which is why I'm saying love is the ultimate flow state. There is no other better feeling than love. Love is the best drug. We've heard every single quote based on love. And every single poet can access this state of beingness and understand that love is really a frequency and it's the highest vibration and frequency that there is. So, there are many, many different kinds of love. The Greeks have so many different words for it. Just like Eskimos have different words for snow. So puppy love might be different from romantic love. Each type of love is different. But in the understanding, love has to do with these micro moments of connection. And connection, I, I really say connection here and not attachment. Love starts to become attachment. We start getting attached to another individual and it takes us away from ourselves. And I think that's what we like about love as well. We stop thinking about ourselves so much. Right? When we love somebody else, we start thinking about others. We start 
generating these amazing feelings of empathy. However, empathy is something that is given when it is welcomed, when someone can really listen and receive that empathy. If you're blindly giving love with lots of empathy, lots of care, but you're not getting any back, that's miscalibrated, right? This is where codependence starts happening. That's what codependence means. One side is giving more than the other. And this is where toxic relationships start to kick in. Because we've got to understand that a healthy relationship relies on interdependency, not codependency. When we connect with another individual, we're not attached to them, that comes from a frequency of fear, but we're connected to them, which is the frequency of love. And I believe sharing somebody's shadows and pain with them is the deepest kind of love. You have similar demons that you're facing, similar hurdles you've got to overcome, but you overcome them together and it becomes stronger. And we've been fed this narrative by Disney, by Bollywood, by movies, that love is supposed to be this way, and it's supposed to be easy, it's supposed to be this, it's supposed to be that. Look, nobody else can describe this biological sensation that you get inside of yourself. Let nobody decide that definition of love for you. You get to decide that definition. I tell all of my clients who are suffering from relationship issues, issues with love, lack of love, lack of trust, trust issues, cheating, different relationship issues, mishaps, I tell all of them, start to create your own framework for relationships. Start to build healthy, loving boundaries for your relationships and for yourself. Know what you want, know what you're looking for in another individual. Start to really ask yourself these important questions. Love is there to teach us. It is the best teacher. And love has this polarity to it, too. It's like heads or tails. Love can, that's why love can quickly spring into hate, because it has an emotional charge to it. It's very powerful. You get swept off your feet, so you can kind of guess how you're not grounded in creating love, because, again, I want to come back to the quote, micro moments of connection. They don't have to be macro moments, though the micro moments of micro flow create those ecstatic, euphoric moments of macro flow as well. But love is a euphoric feeling, which is why we get so attached to it, we get so swept off our feet. We fall in love instead of rise in love. And my mission to you is, I want you to rise in love. I want you to wake up feeling love emanate through your pores and radiate that onto the world and learn through the heartbreak. Let it change you from the inside. Let it make you a stronger individual. Let it make you a better man or a woman. And whoever you are listening, I want you to understand that I love you. I don't want you. I don't crave you. I don't own you. I love you. And there's a very, very big difference. Have an amazing Valentine's Day. Talk to you guys soon. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. See you next time.